this case here, instead of circle now, I actually get an oval shape. And then this time here, I'm going to place it where the ear is. Then just behind the ear, there is a piece that look like the hand muscle. Okay, and it's touching the mouth. Okay, so again from here, get up to the front hand here. Then you see a little bit underneath here, a bit of white. Okay, the back of the neck dropped it almost to here. Then the muscle from the leg is in the front and it's pretty big. Then I'm going to have to imagine the back of the squirrel coming down this way here. Okay. Then the fee, of course, just in the front here. And it's not important whether or not you get all the detail at this stage. Okay, the tail going from the bottom, swing the upwards, cover part of the body from the back. So this is what I got. Okay, again, I'm going to darken a little bit so you guys can see it more clear. So I did an oval shape, the ear, and then the hand, and then the back here, the feet. Then I imagine the back. We don't see it because it got covered by the tail. Okay, so this is what I would simplify first, okay? So now I'm going back to the head. Okay, so from the head, slide it down here and get the nose. Part of the nose is covered. Okay, the eye this time is very close to the border of the head. Okay, I'll leave a bit of white. Uh, there's a two dot of the white in this case here. Okay, then we have a white rim around it. So again, I'll go back to the ear because it's easier to get this part here. A little bit of shading here. And look like the hole is a bit low in this case here. Okay, so in this case here, now I'm going to move over to the hand. So I adjust my hand, it's actually up a bit higher. Okay, so I'm going to erase my previous line. Okay, and look like there's a little bit of a folding. Then it go up to the hand. Okay. And remember the hand is curled up. Okay. Now you probably could not differentiate the other hand versus uh, the front one, but that's okay. Okay, so we do what we see. Okay, all right. So here, that line, I'm gonna get rid of them. I'm gonna convert it to hair. Okay, so you notice the hair going at a direction which is different then normal okay so we get rid of that oval shape again then go back to the back leg here i'll give it a little bit of resemble the hair okay you follow the photo of showing the direction of how the hair should go you don't need to do every single hair Okay, then I'll come down to the feet and notice that I see a little bit of the toe. But not a lot, okay? Because it's getting dark. I'm gonna add one more toe here. Okay, so now I'm sort of ready for the tail. So I'm gonna switch my pencil. 
I'm gonna come back to the face again, okay? Because I noticed the face, there's a slight mouse being seen. Okay, you notice how I go around the tail, okay? Swing over to the back here. Then they go outwards. Okay, so I won't spend a lot of time on the tail. So I'm gonna come back and then shade some area. Okay, come back to the head. Okay, down here, a little bit of detail. Okay. okay, you can also see my pencil is moving all different direction, okay? So you, when you do it, you just have to remember our eye is looking at the whole square, not only at one particular area. Okay, so I got up to this point here, my squirrel. Now, I can also add something to the squirrel head because the hand is curled with something. So what happened is I could have possibly add a piece of something that's this squirrel been holding it, okay? So this just create a bit of interest that this squirrel is holding something. Okay. Now, even at the top of this here, if you feel you want to make it fluffy, you can actually pull a little bit of your pencil line upwards so that you can see a little bit hair like. Okay. And again, if I look at more carefully, this area here a little bit darker okay so I can do it this way here okay it look like here we also got a little bit darker too so each time I shave a little bit, it actually would give me more dimension to this squirrel and would resemble more, okay? See, it look like in here that my oval shave is giving a little bit cuss to the face to have a line there. Now this time here, I'm gonna deliberately put a whisker in there, okay? Previously, I didn't put whisker but the whiskers should be around this area here. Now, a lot of time we do not put all the whisker on them. If we put too many, then it doesn't look nice. Okay. Okay, so again, spot a little bit here. Okay. 
So even for the tail, if you feel that that's this area here should be a little bit darker, you can do a quick shading. Okay. Now sometimes again, I want this square to look like it's sitting on something. So I can very quickly just give a ground. Okay, so I'm not too sure how far you guys are on, uh, but I would like to take a look to see how everybody's doing with a squirrel. Okay, so in a minute we're gonna give you the opportunity to just show me how have you done. It doesn't have to be this particular pose, it could be the previous pose.